Tower Castle is legit. Is that where we're going to stay at and do a class? Yeah, look at it. It'll be our first, whoa. It'll be our first destination class. It will not be our first destination class. Yeah. Um, because we did Australia. Oh, yeah. And all over the States. It'll be our first Ireland class location. So, if you guys are just joining us, Jeff is adding fire glass to his wood geode using hot glue and after he gets these stones set with hot glue we're gonna do resin and gold leaf and the additional resin will further cement these glass pieces to his wood look geode This may be a weird question, but you, do you drink 12 ounce, 12 ounce slim cans any? Aren't White Claw slim can yeah. and aren't um, like Red Bulls slim can? If the answer is yes, then yes. Hey, Clara. If the answer is yes, then yes. Yes. Judy, I did not see your question. I'm so sorry. Could you repost or can someone Oh, it never cured. Can you pour over? Ugh. So, if you've ever painted your nails and your first coat wasn't dry when you painted another coat and then the top coat dries and then it's kind of squishy, that's how I envision how it would be if you poured over. I've not done it myself, so I can't attest to it. But I know some people say you can. I think it depends on how not dry it is whether the flood coat would help the undercoat set or not I don't know maybe I should do a test piece and see for myself so that I can give advice on that because I can only give you like third hand knowledge about that oh Susan Campbell says I did not have luck it made the flood coat not set see just here in the span of four people one person did it and it worked and another person did it and it didn't work so I think it depends on how set your resin is. Have an awesome day, Trisha. What up, MCATs? Do you think a quicker setting resin would be better or a long curing one? Um, I feel like it wouldn't matter like if it's gonna work it would work and if it's not gonna work it wouldn't work whether it's a quick cure resin or not but you'll get your answer faster with a quick cure resin it is a cordless glue gun it is by Ryobi so it has this battery pack on the bottom of it that we can switch out um, did you turn it off no okay well it's off I can go get the other battery out if you need it. Sure, Judy, if you're not concerned about wasting whatever amount of resin to flood it, it's absolutely worth a try. You never know to give it a shot. I would, I would want to know how it works. Um, if you, if you do give it a try, let me know. 
Lynn asked a question from New Zealand. I hope I got that right. I'm not geographically amazing. Um, how quick can you sand your piece? I poured yesterday and has lots of fluff in it. So I sanded this morning. Is that too soon? It seemed hard enough. Well, if you've already sanded it and it worked, then it worked. It all depends on what kind of resin you use and how quickly it sets up and your ambient temperature. But I mean, obviously if it worked, then I wouldn't even stress about it. Sounds like it's good to go. I hear you, Nene. Thank you, Judy. I'm really interested to know how, how that, how, if it works. Be careful with this glass because it's like like the parts that you they're sticking up. Lynn, I think the 72 hours you should wait as it says on the packaging is a guide so that even though it is cured hard enough after 24 hours. Right just in case it's not it's two hours just to be safe can ryobi give you a code for the fam i will reach out to ryobi and if you guys have a plug at ryobi hit them up because this is not sponsored however if you guys are watching what's up call us Have you guys ever used the thickener that Stone Coat sells? I bought some to try to make 3D drips. Susan, are you talking about that white powder? I know that sounds it's sketchy. Like white but cotton candy. Yeah. That's it's like a good. fluff. I don't know. It's not spun, so I don't know. I don't know. Wow, well, we're so glad you're here, Lynn. you think I should use? Um, that center is going to take a lot. Are you filling it? Yeah, I don't want to fill it. It's pretty thick for... No, I would say... I don't remember how much you mixed for this part. Um... Susan, we have we have some somewhere of that thickener Mike sent us a while back. Um, of all the things you should make sure to do with it is to wear for sure a respirator because that stuff is no joke bad to breathe in. I mean, not that you should breathe any of this stuff in, but particularly because that stuff goes airborne. Make sure you have this protected. Also, also be advised that it does make your pieces slightly cloudy if you put enough in. I need a stick. I don't have any right here. I not have one store stick. Hi, Emma. That's good, Angela. Definitely make sure you protect your 
yourself, especially with asthma. I'm hoping to make it look like chocolate syrup. Oh, then you're good. Definitely cloudiness isn't going to be an issue. Hi, Megan. On text message. Nope. I have been under the weather the last couple days. So, Megan, I will get to your messages. And I'm not quite sure I will get to your messages as well. If you're worried that I haven't seen it and you want to send me a follow-up text to bump it, absolutely, by all means, do that. I'm hoping to make it look like chocolate syrup. That'll be fun. Are you just going to do clear with this? Mm -hmm. So we are using Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. We won't worry about any bubbles that we're making by stirring it because we'll use heat to get rid of that. Thank you, Heidi. And if you're new to the channel, we do sell this resin on our website. We do sell these uh, geode shapes as well on our website. Thank you, Clara. You guys are all having an amazing day. What's today, Friday? Are you having an amazing Friday? Friday. How big are the geoid boards? Geoid boards? I almost said geoid. Mm -hmm. Looking at you, Kendra. Geoid. Um. This one is 30 inches, I believe, and then we also have some that are 18 inches. The same, Clara. I guess maybe a little bit better. Can do, Megan. Um, message me a good email address so I don't send it to the wrong place. Susan, that sounds so fun. Make sure you tag us in that because I'd love to see it. when I can't put it on the table. So the small geodes are 35 and the large ones are 60. Oh, that was a fun one, Shading of the Heart. I'm going to have Kim over again soon. So if you're wondering, these are really thick, pretty heavy already. Um... Solid. Basically two layers, right? Or is this just one big layer? No, it's two layers. They're they're pretty heavy duty, so they can take a lot of a lot of work done to them. Oh, I'm sorry, Dan. Um. Her husband just had triple bypass on Tuesday. She said, y'all are the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, we hope he feels better super, super soon. I'm glad he's doing amazingly well. Um, Angela, 35 and 60. This is a large one, so it is in the 60 Dola range. I just sprinkle that in? Yeah, I would just like sprinkle it in and then stir it in so you have some that are different buoyancy is. Cat hair. Is anyone else's cat addicted to gold leaf? I'm not addicted to it. They are addicted to it. Every time we bring it out, they're like, 
all about it. Thank you. See, boy cat, he smelled it. It's on his way. Um, imagine BJ seven D one. Yes, that is the price that we have listed for the boards. Um, shipping's going to vary based on where it's going to go. So for Australia, it's going to be more expensive to ship, but the price of the board is the same and that is in USD. However, if you go on there and shipping is ridiculous, I've just got a something, got a membership, an account with DHL, so I have to revise my shipping for international things. So if you go on there to order it and shipping is ridiculous, just select pick up local and leave a note to invoice you for shipping and I will do that. Your cat's addicted to humidifiers. I don't have one of those, but I could see how that would be a thing. I'm gonna put some of that gold leaf on these rocks too. I was gonna ask you about that. My cats chew through bread bags and nibble on the bread. Our cats like to chew through bags too. And paper? We like to chew paper. What is what paper even is towels. that? What's up, Rumple? How are you doing? I hope amazing. That's so elegant looking bee. Oh yeah, our cats like to play in water. We have water cats and water ponds. So now that he's sprinkled the gold leaf on, he's coating it more in resin so that it's for sure stuck. Forever home. So elegant, be so elegant. Everyone says it looks great. It's kind of hard to see. I could see how that'd be a thing shooting at the heart. Main says that would be a good color combo for a countertop. I concur. You have black something right there. You may have to alcohol wipe that off. Hey, Sam. don't really rip up things. Bowie gets, I think the cats tempt him into doing bad things. But I'm biased. In my head, my boys do no wrong. But they yeah, absolutely this, do. Uh, <gasps> There's one. Hi, big boy. Hey, my 
big boy. What guy? is going on? Girl cat. That drives me insane. Like, they just start playing with random stuff that has nothing to do with them. Boys got their hair done today. Thank you guys. I think you made the perfect amount, actually. Well, the only thing I'm worried about is that looking cloudy. What's the base made out of? It is a MDF. An MDF cradle board. I'm not quite sure I got someone else's food delivered to them from DoorDash. And DoorDash was like, well, just keep this and you get your money back from your food. That's so frustrating and that's happened to us so many times. supposed to have it that deep, huh? Technically, no. But, if we put it in the dust-free zone and... That's a lot of resin. Looks like you have a hair. It's, you know, it's a... Uh... But it did that on one of mine. And um, I just hit it with heat after every hour, and I turn that heater on in the, the dust free zone. Mm -hmm. I hope you feel better, Emma. Or if you're worried about it, just scoop it out. I think it'll clear up if I just keep hitting it with the heat. It will. I didn't even think about it just being that deep. Like, I didn't. Are you guys in a couple of bubbles out here, though? You can see that violet. Mm -hmm. It looks so awesome. 
just going to hit some of these raw spots I'm noticing. Are you going to put any uh, glitter glass in there? Yeah, the bubbles are deeper in the resin and as the resin sets, it will start to push the bubbles towards the surface. Have you guys done any glow in the dark pigment? We have. We yeah, have, we've done quite a bit. What's the best pigment you have used? Funny you should ask. Right? We have lots of pigments. I don't know why it drops like this. I swear to you, I'm gonna fix it. I don't think that there's it. enough, a, a thick enough layer down on this. Resin. Well, if you want, we can, um, I'll mix with some more resin. Yeah. Should be fine. Too. You're not putting any color in them? Or? I was putting color in them, but I was trying to get them turned back on. So, there we have it. It looks really classy. We need to do a true color video. It's crazy how that second layer of resin really brightened that violet dust over you did. If you guys didn't see from yesterday, this is the piece.
It so looks like you did like intentional shading. Yeah, I mean, Go ahead. It's not that I don't see it, it's I don't know how to fix it. Right? Isn't it great? That glow of pink in the background is just so nice. That's like a Jeff style skull candy, right? Did Jeff plan the skull when he did the original pour? No, this is a, um, he did the pour and then he decided to do, he did the pour first and then he decided to do the skull over it. And the awesome crazy thing is it laid like perfectly flat. Like even though this is one of our something a framed cradle board so we have that rim that goes around it the moat so even though this is one of those it's still poured exactly flat like glass Love it. Huh? No, there's two sizes, but four different. There's two styles and two sizes, so there's four over there. There's the rimmed one, the flat one, and 30, and the rimmed one and flat one and 18. Right, it is a perfect color combo. Yeah, he wasn't really thinking about the skull when he did the piece. Didn't that sell last night? Um, yes, kind of. Someone's interested in it, but no one has put dollars on it yet, so. Yeah, I agree, it is super cool looking. How much is Jeff selling it for? I can't remember what he said last night. I want to say three plus shipping, he said. C, C, C. Can you put vinyl lettering into resin with no issues? Sure, of course you can. You just need to make sure that you have them stuck down really well and that you don't add too much heat when you're popping the bubbles in your resin because that can make your vinyl bubble up. So just be cognizant. What's up, Moonsick fans? So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video today. Tomorrow will be all day body painting and our face painting. So. If we get someone that comes in with 
a neat idea that we think that you would like to see and they're okay with live streaming it, then we'll stream it. Otherwise, I'll try to record bits and pieces of it and then I'll post a video later. Um, Cujo's heard me start the spiel, so please check us out on all of these things. And, um, Cujo, just breathe, big boy. Um, yeah. Find us in all these other places on social media. Tag us in your artwork. We would love to see and uh, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through, and we'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. I'm sure some people won't care if we film the process. But anyways, have a great night, everyone. Manana. Bye. I said bye. So fun. Baby, 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 baby,